A very warm thanks to one and all. We, Anjan, Roshni, and Krishna Priya are here to explain you about our mini project titled "Monitoring Heartbeat for Arrhythmia Patients Using IoT." Nowadays, people who are uh, who are suffering from chronic diseases need to repeatedly monitor the vital signs periodically. So, what are vital signs? Like Uh, the vital signs of our body are uh, heart rate and glucose level. To monitor these uh, situations, uh, we are using NRF two four L zero one. This is a transmit that sends the data from home to the medical department. Uh, one, once the threshold is reached to an extent, we generate an alarm and also we send a message to the uh, by generating from a web page by using data mining techniques. People may know their condition with medical professions' help. Uh, coming to the domain, we are using over here the Internet of Things and the Arduino IoT uh, and also GSM. Uh, the Internet of Things describes as the network of physical objects like things uh, that are embedded sensors, software, and other technologies for the purpose of connecting and uh, exchanging data with other devices and systems over the internet. What is I uh, Arduino IoT? I, uh, Arduino IoT Cloud is an application which helps makers build connected objects in a quick, easy, and also in a secure way. We can connect multiple devices to each other and allow them to exchange real-time data. We can also monitor them from anywhere using a simple user interface. Coming to GSM, GSM uh, digitizes and compresses the data. Uh, that is, it sends it down a channel with two other streams of user data, each in its own time slot. Coming to the introduction, actually it started in 1974. Ioki, who uh, invented this pulse oximeter to measure the oxygen saturation uh, of blood in 1974. The importance of pulse uh, oximeter felt more in the upcoming years, that is in the 1977. Uh, so the first wireless uh, heart rate monitor was invented in 97, 1977 by the Polar uh, Electric, and in 1983. As intensity training became very much popular, then it came into existence. In 2020, the importance of pulse oximeter uh, came to existence as a coronavirus. It was a coronavirus pandemic. In 2021, during the pulse uh, reading, uh, email clamp like device is placed on a finger or earlobe or a small beans where a light passes from the blood uh, to mm -hmm. the finger and sensor is generated. What is the main objective uh, of this project? The main use of creating this device is to monitor the heart rate of the patient by transmitting the sense the, uh, by the sensor data from home to the medicator without human's need. Uh, the statistics shows that 5.8 physicians, uh, 10,000 persons and 12.7 nurses for every thousand persons. Uh, so India, uh, India is facing the scarcity of attending staff for the patients who are in need. A number of people die because, uh, because of lack of health monitoring. So the existing system, now the uh, coming to existing system, as of now, we can monitor vital signs such as heart rate, glucose level of patients in hospitals. The respiratory rate it is one of the important vital signs which is calculated and monitored by heartbeat sensor and the patient's respiration is continuously based on voltage value of inhaled and exhaled air. So coming to the drawbacks of existing system, most of the people do not go to the hospital regularly and get checked their heart rate and glucose because they cannot afford more money. They can't go to the hospitals and spend money for getting checked again and again repeatedly. From here, my friend Anjali will continue. Hello, everyone. My greetings to respected faculties and to my dear friends. Myself, see Anjan Sai Kiran Reddy. And we are really glad to present our mini project. And let's see the uh, remaining part of our mini project. In here, first we try to detect the heart, no, heart rate of patients and we will convert the, that rate to voltage and send it to a voltage output to microcontroller controller in microcontroller the output is plotted with respect to uh, respect to real time to the heartbeat rate then it then the readings are uh, 
then send to the Arduino and it will be calculated and goes, goes output through GSM. Uh, if the heartbeat rate is higher than the normal rate or the heartbeat rate is lower than the normal rate, it will generate an alarm. The alarm is set to burst for every three, three, three readings of an irregular heartbeat rate. We use pulse oximeter to take the um, readings and we use pulse oximeter to take the reading and Arduino to calculate the uh, readings. And we use buzzer to generate alarm and GSM to transfer patient's condition to pay parent, doctor or guardians. This is built with some programs, uh, the programs like embedded C and Arduino IDE. And what is the main advantages of a proposed system? The main advantage is we can uh, reduce the, uh, we can reduce uh, uh, the death rate of uh, in present situations. And we can, uh, time for calling an ambulance and consulting a doctor is also reduced. By this, we can reduce the problem to great extent. From here, my friend Roshni will continue the project. Now we are coming to algorithm. Normally, an ECG signal contains several type of waves in the different periods. The P wave represents the initiation of the heartbeat in the upper chambers of the heart and its duration is usually less than 0.1 second. The QRS complex Responds, uh, corresponds to the lower chambers of the depolarization. Its duration is normally 0 0.04 to 0 0.12 seconds. The T wave represents as a recovery phase. To calculate the heartbeat, the position of QRS complex and RR interval is used to specify the heartbeat of, heartbeat of the patient. By using RR interval, we can we can see the heartbeat of the patient. Coming to architecture, we should keep the sensor to the patient finger that the pulse oximeter. We should supply some power to that uh, power to that patient. Then the ordinal takes the input and generates the buzzer and GS generates the buzzer if the heartbeat of the patient will be abnormal if the part if the patient's heartbeat is abnormal it generates a buzzer buzzer at conclusion we are proposing an iot device heart disease monitoring system for healthcare service system monitors the patient's vital signs such as glucose level etc indicators continuous, continuously and provides four different data transmission modes the balance of healthcare need and demand for the communication and communicating resources we also implemented a prototype to present an overview of the system in near future we plan to create a condensed awareness technologies are also considered to provide some powerful healthcare services like early warning and real-time knowledge support to patients we are taking these differences thank you